It's Hope from Cedaholic Gardens again, and I just wanted to show you what I harvested this week because besides produce, which I got a bit of, I harvested a few blessings. So let's start with the blessings. Mark and I, in this, um, I have a bin here in front of me that you can't see. It's a long one that I use to grow the lettuce out front. We have our sunflower heads that we harvested from out front because they were growing over our what do you call the thing on the gutter? Uh, that is the gutter. Roof. On the roof, the gutter. And we didn't want sunflowers to grow in there. And in the back of the house, we actually had garlic growing this year when he cleaned them out. So he har we harvested some of the heads, which are a nice size. And a neighbor was driving by and saw, us, saw him cutting them and stopped and says, Hey, can I take a picture? And we talked and chatted. She's not a gardener yet but this spring you'll meet her her name is renette and we are going to help her start her first garden and i suggested she do like a four by four square foot and i suggested mel bartholomew's book since she's a first time gardener but her neighbor has an apple tree or two and this is what she gave me i'm not quite sure what those apples are but i'm pretty sure these or some sort of crab apple. Also not sure what those are, but I know with crab apples you can turn them into jellies or wines. So I'm gonna try and make like a simple syrup out of these. And I'm hopeful that one of you smart people out there knows what variety that is. And I'm gonna give you a close up of the apple. So these, she gave me six apples. So these are gonna turn into a pie, probably. So these were the blessings this week. And then when we were up at the church garden, my girlfriend Amy was up there and she told me her husband had gone to one of our local nurseries and they had some plants they were that looked pretty um, awful, some tomato plants early in the season. And he says, what are you gonna do with those? Yep, they finished their sell-off. And he says, what are you gonna do with those um, few over there? Because they weren't in any condition to buy, apparently. And the guy says, well, we were gonna throw them out, but you can have them if you want them. So they took them. Of the six, five lived. And so she brought me some tomatoes yeah, I know. Excuse the teeth. <laughs> Out of her, she brought me six tomatoes. And they're small saladette types. I think these might be 4th of July's. This is what looks like 4th of July's that my um, friend at church, who we lost this past spring, um, used to grow. But I'm not sure. So I wanted you guys to get a closer look at those and see what you think. Then, look what else I got. These are the Desi Squash Fully Ripe. And we got three of those. I think we got this one a little early, but I think it'll be okay. Then we got, oh gosh, Crookneck Squash. We got one, two, three, four, six of them. And I gave two away, one to Renette and one to Amy, <laughs> who are both probably going to be frying them like green tomatoes. Got a couple um, rutabagas I found out those were. I did take a closer look and they are rutabagas for sure. Um, this I did not harvest, this I bought. It was at the store, and it is a Korean daikon. So I just wanted to show you guys that, because if you guys have seeds and you're in the seed exchange this coming spring that Paula organizes, I want seeds for this, because I love daikon, and I haven't seen this variety. I um, slice them and use it raw in salad. And um, when I grow my own, oh, I forgot I got a bigger rutabaga. This is my biggest one. When I um, grow my own, I use the greens because the greens are delicious raw in a salad. I mean delicious if you haven't had them, try them. I got a handful of greens because I always do this. This is shard that I have to rehydrate, as you see. Got a bunch of cherry tomatoes. Got a few green tomatoes. This is all going to church today. And I told you um, a lady named um, Shirley at church requested um, some patty pan. And I got four more of those, so... Um, she's, um, slightly disabled as well. She always sits in a chair at the back of church, specially put there for her to accommodate her needs. So she gets first choice because she can't get up like everybody else and get to the produce. So when I walk into church today, when she's there, um, the, we don't put produce out until after church, but I'm going to put the, um, patty pans and I got four of them. Let me show you the other two. I'm going to put them all in a bag, and whatever she doesn't want will go on the table. But she definitely gets first choice of those. 
got one more um, long purple eggplant, and that was winter sown. So I've gotten about three of those so far. This is my last cucumber of the early season, but there's a video that I'll be posting that you'll see that has um, the church, and we've got three gorgeous plants growing up there. And then those little patio baby eggplants that we bought. Got about seven of those, six or seven of those. And what I do is I sh when I share at church is I give everybody first choice and whatever no one takes, I keep. But more importantly than anything, um, oh, I did get a nice size okra. But more important to me than all of it is I harvested all sorts of seeds. I got marigolds. I got zinnia seeds and lettuces and beans. I just have. And then some small sunflowers. I mean, I just got all sorts of seeds. And this is what I was talking about. That's school time. So once I get everything in envelopes and labeled, they're going in these. And then I'll get a, a label maker. And on the back or the bottom or somewhere on the top, I will put what's in each container. That is what I'm, my goal to get my seeds sorted. And then, oh, I forgot. I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to try and put them on top of the tomatoes for now. But I did get a handful of peppers. A couple hands full of peppers. I think we showed you those little teeny um, Thai hot chilies. And they are hot. <laughs> so I got a few of those. Just And then I got one Jimmy Nardello. That one is. And I can't wait. I'm going to try this one now because... I've been waiting for this one. This one is a sweet pepper. Mark is actually helping me, and he gave me a weird look. So I'm going to try this one on camera. And I hope this is the right pepper, because if it's not, you're going to know it. Oh, that's delicious. I will be growing this forever. This is so sweet. And this will be easier for me, personally, to slice. Oh, my God. Try that, Mark. You're going to like that. It's sweet. Then I got some shishitos, which are hot. What do you think? <laughs> he doesn't do hot. He and my son and a friend from church's son, <laughs> also, um, who's in the Navy now, last year, didn't realize I had some, um, um, what do you call it, scotch bonnets. <laughs> and they didn't realize how hot they were, and they all three popped them in their mouth whole. Fortunately, our church is a well-supplied church, and we had milk in the refrigerator. <laughs> That I didn't video, but I wish I had. But anyways, oh, I keep remembering things because I keep having a few more things. Got a couple hats of garlic. We left them in too long. And then we got a handful of beans. And also from Penelope, I got a purple hull bean. And these are from Paula. These are scarlet runner beans. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> and I don't know what variety these tomatoes are and who they're from because I got so many. And then I got lemon cucumber. I forget who gave me these. If you go back and watch my um, seed exchange videos, that will tell you. It's um, supposed to be about the size of this tomato in yellow. But I think I planted it in a container that was too small outside of my front door. You've seen it, that box. So next year, these will go in the ground because I love this cucumber. I've had it once years ago, and this is the first one I've ever successfully grown. So I just want um, these, I think, are seeds from a plant flower called Angelonia and I've never grown it before but I think it's beautiful it's a purple spike on um, dark green leaves and we thought figured we'd try it if we get some seeds out um, plants out of it next year you'll see them all over my videos because they're gorgeous thank you babe and um I have more of that that's good but anyways so this oh I have more <laughs> seeds over there he's gonna turn see this is what I've got. Um, I have more zinnias and lettuce and I don't know. I've got to just go through everything because we got a lot. And then that what looks like the world's ugliest bouquet is not. It is actually a big bouquet of lettuce seeds and I wanted that many deliberately because I will be sharing those in the seed exchange as well. Those are um, Paris Island, Paris Island Cause Romaine. So <laughs> I hope you guys like that because if you're in the seed exchange, that's what you're getting. And then 
I believe that's everything I got for you today. So I just wanted to say to you guys, as always, happy gardening. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do here. And blessings of bounty to you and yours in this and every gardening season. And may your gardens always bring you joy. See you next time.